After chasing Texas the day before, April 23rd had a couple of decent targets. The better shear and instability combination was over northeast Texas. However, this area is less favorable chase terrain due to the trees and road network. I opted for southeast Nebraska instead. This looked like the next best area with some moderate instability, decent shear, and back surface winds. I had waited all day in the town of Auburn, Nebraska, and storms finally went up just before dark south of Lincoln. You can see one rain-free base straight ahead and another one off to the left. Both went tornado warned and I let Taylor and Charlie on the left come up to meet me as the last storm in the line often has the best chances for producing a tornado. It doesn't get interfered with by other storms. The dusk lighting really illuminated the storm bases in a neat way. These storms also had very pronounced rain shafts. You can see a very well defined core to the right. Some of these were actually fooling chasers in the area and a report came in of a wedge tornado even though it was clearly one of these rain shafts. These storms were also prolific lightning producers. I panned the camera to the north here hoping to catch something descending from the base as it was backlit by lightning since this storm was still tornado warned. You can really see the motion in these descending rain shafts here. Watch the rain shaft to the left, it becomes very focused. In its current state it looks very much like a landspout tornado. Had I not witnessed it from the start it might have fooled me into reporting it as such. I had watched it from the beginning though and knew it was just a rain shaft but it was a very convincing look alike. Zooming in here you can also see with the time lapse that it's not rotating, a dead giveaway this is not a tornado.